If someone with an allergy tastes, eats, swallows, inhales or touches the substance they're allergic to, their immune system sees it as a threat and reacts by trying to fight it off. Some reactions can be mild or moderate, such as itching, sneezing, runny nose, itchy, red, puffy or watery eyes, a red, raised, itchy rash or red, flushed, blotchy skin, a tight chest and wheezing, difficulty breathing, swallowing or speaking, abdominal pain, vomiting or diarrhoea. But some reactions can be more severe. Anaphylactic shock is the most severe type of allergic reaction. It can develop within just a few seconds of the person coming into contact with the substance they're allergic to and, if not treated, can prove life-threatening. A casualty with anaphylactic shock needs immediate emergency treatment with an injection of adrenaline or epinephrine. As well as the mild or moderate reactions, a casualty in anaphylactic shock may also have severe difficulty breathing, causing them to wheeze and gasp for air, visible swelling of their tongue and throat, a feeling of terror, and they may go into shock, collapse and become unconscious. If someone in your workplace has severe allergies, they should make sure you're aware of this. This will help you give them the right first aid much more quickly, which could save their life. This is what to do for a severe allergic reaction. Call the emergency services immediately. Tell the operator the casualty is having a severe allergic reaction and give them any information you have on what may have triggered it, such as an insect sting or a particular food like peanuts. Check whether the casualty is carrying their own medication, such as an auto injector. If they are and you've been trained to do so, you can help them to administer it. Help them to sit up in the position that best relieves any breathing difficulty. If they become pale and have a weak pulse, help them to lie down, raise their legs and treat them for shock. Monitor and record their vital signs while you wait for the emergency services to arrive. If they become unresponsive or their breathing stops, follow the steps from the primary survey. If there's no improvement or the symptoms return, repeat doses of epinephrine can be given at five minute intervals.